Hey everybody, Gay here. What's up, bitches? I'll tell you what's up, bitches. I can't sing. So I am um, have just been going through iTunes and stuff looking for 80s music. Because, well, you know, I love 80s music. And it just made me stop to wonder, what is um, your ultimate number one all-time favorite 80s song? Like, what is the number one song of all time for the 80s? And for me, like, right now, for, like, right now, I really, really think it's Wham, wake me up before you go-go. Because you got hanging on like a yo-yo. I mean, come on. You just can't not... I mean, it's that. Or maybe it's like, it's a miracle by um, a culture club. It's a miracle, which originally was called It's America. But they changed it to It's a Miracle. Yeah, yeah, I know those little things. Or maybe it's like, or maybe it's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I used to love this song. Lost in emotion. Telling you things I really shouldn't know. Uh oh, I gotta download that song. I don't know, I don't have that one, but I love it. <gasps> All Cried Out by Lisa Lisa. Oh my god, that is a great song. That is a great song. What about Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. When Doves Cry by Prince. Oh my god, there are so many great songs, but I really honestly think um, uh, uh, the number one song is Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. Oh no, maybe it's Come On Eileen. It's Come On Eileen. Oh my god, I used to sit on my bunk bed, my bunk bed, I used to have this little clock radio, and I would listen to like these, like the night music that I would, when I go to bed, I couldn't wait to go to bed so I could listen to the music on my clock radio. And oh my god, Private Dancer. I'm your Private Dancer. I love Private Dancer. That was, oh wait a minute, is it Thriller? Wait a minute. Is it Thriller? Is Thriller the number one song of the 80s? Cause this is Thriller, or Beat It, or Billie Jean? Man in the Mirror, oh my god, what do you think is the number one 80s song of all time? I need you to tell me that. And with that being said, oh, I'm your man by Wham! Baby, I'm your man. Oh my god, if you're gonna do it, do it right. I gotta tell you a story about Michael, J Michael uh, George Michael. So, my friend Scotty and I are uh, driving up Los Angeles Boulevard in West Hollywood, and we come up to a light, right up to the light, and we look over, I look over the car next to me, and it's George Michael. And I look over, and I'm like, <gasps> just like that, I'll be, oh my God, oh my God, Scotty, Scotty, don't look, but look, George Michael is in the car next to us. And so Scotty, without missing a beat, is in the passenger seat, he takes the seat, and he reclines all the way back, looks over, waves, and comes back up and goes, that's George Michael. <laughs> oh my god. The 80s, West Hollywood, the 90s was fun. Anyway, so I'm on Grindr right now, speaking of I'm Your Man, and, um, okay, so I've never had any luck on Grindr, because I'm an old gay, and, you know, anyway, this kid is really, really cute, and he's like, hey, do you want to come on over? We have to do it in the restroom. My, I have a roommate. Like, I don't want to go to your house and do it with you in your bathroom. Ooh. And then he tells me he's into older guys. Which is me. He's wicked cute. But I'm not going to go do it in his bathroom. Just not going to do it in his bathroom. I'm sitting on the couch with my feet are falling asleep. So tell me what your favorite 80s song is. I will keep you posted if anything happens with this cute guy. His name is Momo. And I, uh, oh, Momo. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. I mean, he's wicked, wicked cute. Like, are you kidding me? I mean, maybe I should just go do it with him in his bathroom because, oh my God. Oh. Wake me up before you go-go. Gaze out.